Hello, in this video, I will show you how to share data using MIT App Inventor. All this time, I will show how to share data to another screen using wearables. Secondly, I also will share with you how to share data to another screen using form. Let's do this. Firstly, go to our screen, straightly go to block view. Okay, firstly, what you have to do is create a variable. We need a variables. Okay, initialize the variables. Give the name of the variable. My name. And set now without value. Okay, in order to send the data, we need a component. For example, we use button. Okay, create a button. Okay, go back to a block. We use the button okay we use uh, this event when button click then we want to pass the data okay to pass the data so what we need is open another screen okay mm -hmm. actually uh, open another screen has to uh, block uh, without value and with value so we need uh, with value start value Okay, plug into the block. Okay, so we want to send to second screen. Okay, now create the second screen. Okay, now we have another screen. Go back to screen 1. So, sign screen 1 to the screen name, screen 2. Okay, secondly, what you have to do is to pass the value. So, to pass the value, initialize the value first. For example, we put Michael, okay, assign Michael value to my name. Okay, now we want to send uh, the value, which is Michael, to another screen. Then assign the value. Okay, how to assign the value? Use a get block. You can get from uh, variables and uh, drag. Okay, so you need to setting the get global my name. Okay, this is our variable. If we create a more a global variable, then it will list down here. Okay, so next, move to next screen. Okay, at the second screen, we want to receive the value from the other screen. Here, we need a variable. Create variable, for example, receive name. Use a get start value. Get start value return the value that was passed to the screen when it was open. Okay, so we can use this one. Okay, in order to display the value that we received from the previous screen, so we need example label. Okay, use the label. We type the text value to the label. And adjust the size, put it as uh, 20. Okay, now go back to uh, block code. Okay, we need this structure first. Okay, drag uh, set uh, to label, set level 1. Then assign value, okay, the value uh, from this variable, receive name. So, let's test. Go back to screen 1. This is our screen. Display on a letter. Okay, press the button. Then, we got the data from the display on other screen now we want to get a data from the form which is uh, the text box okay so uh, we need a variable okay my name okay we want to set the variable with the value from the text box okay drag the set global so the data is from the text box Okay, get data, text box, text. So now we already get the data that from the text box, then assign to the variable. So means it will replace the current values, which is a Michael. OK, 
Okay, so the user can enter new data through the text box. Okay, then it will send to the second screen. Okay, at the second screen, we will maintain as uh, it is as before. Okay, which uh, it will receive uh, the value from other screen and we assign to this variable receive name. Then we assign to the label. Okay, let's demonstrate. Okay, now it's showing the first screen consists of a text box and a button. Then we can enter the value hello. Then press the button. Then it will pass to another screen. Then it will display hello at the second screen. Okay, I think uh, there are two things I already uh, shared with you. Hopefully, you can uh, get the information or knowledge. So, I sign off from now. Thank you.